Okay, so Anita has raised her thumb and we can start. We're live on Facebook and we're live on Zoom. I wish you a warm welcome on behalf of CECA Peace, Center for Cultural and Historical Research of Socialism. And I wish you a welcome at this uh, fifth Socialism uh, on the Bench conference with the main theme, anti-fascism. Uh, this will be a quite short opening uh, because of we're live on we're live on Zoom, so we wouldn't want to bother you uh, too much. But uh, this is the fifth uh, conference, socialism on the bench, and that means that our center, Sekapis, has entered into the tenth year of its existence and work. Uh, I wish to say hello to uh, our colleagues, our panelists, our attendees, and to all of you who are attending this conference, this three-day conference that will um, end and finish uh, this, this Saturday. So this will be three days of, I hope, thrilling uh, experience and uh, debates, uh, chats also, um, and uh, However, we will, we will try to, to keep it uh, very, very, very heated. Um, I, know that, um, I know that many of you have attended our conferences already, uh, but since this is the fifth and we can say this is the uh, golden uh, conference, uh, let me just remind you that in 2013, we were uh, holding the same conference with the theme of cultural and historical interpretations of Yugoslav socialism. Then in two years time in 2015, we held a conference dedicated to construction and deconstruction of socialism. And in 2017, we were debating on communist and communist parties, politics, actions, debates. In 2019, we were uh, dealing with continuities and innovations in socialist countries, uh, but mostly dedicated to uh, Yugoslavia. Of course, this year, 2021, we're dealing with anti-fascism. Anti I hope that you have all checked our uh, program, and I have to say it is packed. It is full, so we have 20 panels, more than 130 participants. We have three keynote speakers, and we have two round tables, and of course, three book launches. So today, let me just mention who will be uh, our uh, keynote speakers. Rasko Mochnik, who will address us today with his theme, Anti-Fascism, today at 11.15. Uh, tomorrow, a colleague of ours, Darko Dukovsky, with his History on Anti-Fascism at 12 sharp, will address his uh, keynote speech. And the day after tomorrow, Ivo Goldstein, the basic characteristics of Croatian anti-fascism at 12.15. But uh, before we even start with our uh, keynote speakers today, uh, the colleagues of ours, Anita Buhin and uh, uh, colleague uh, Atina Filipovic, will present their book, uh, Continuiteti Innovatie, at 10.15, immediately after this opening uh, is uh, finished. On Friday, we also have two book launches, uh, and that is our colleague uh, Goran Music, uh, Making and Breaking the Yugoslav Working Class. And on Friday also at 7 uh, p.m., a uh, colleague of our Brigitte Lenormand will present her book, Citizens Without Borders. Uh, we also have organized, as I said, uh, two roundtables, that is uh, on Thursday and on Saturday, uh, anti-fascist uh, anti uh, activism that will, uh, that will hold place today at 6.15, and cartography of resistance Zagreb 1941-1945 that will take place on Saturday. So please do check the program again, stay with us, uh, follow as many, uh, as many layers of our program as you, as you can. Um, of course, uh, let me just uh, mention the names of those without which this conference would not have been. Uh, this is the organizational committee, this is the ideal committee for this for this uh, conference uh, those who you can some of them you can you can see here they are uh, Anita Buhin, Igor Duda, Lada Duraković, Boris Koroman, Sara Žeric, Tina Filipović, Sasha Vezadić and myself who bugged you uh, with all those mails 
that I have sent you in the last few, few months. Of course, this conference is being um, supported uh, for the first time by our friends and our colleagues from Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, Southeast Europe. Uh, without their support, this conference would not have been in such a large, uh, large version. So I would like to uh, uh, give thanks to our Krunoslav Stojakovic. But before I give him uh, the space and uh, the place to uh, say a few words, I would like to welcome our uh, Vice Director for Cooperation, Innovation and Technology Transfer, a uh, colleague of ours and Professor Walter Boluncic to address us with a few words. Professor Boluncic, it's, the floor is yours. Um, thank you very much for your invitation. It's my great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the uh, Rector Alfio Barbieri, who you know is a rector today, and for the Rector-elect uh, Marin Koskare, who will become a lecture for tomorrow. I also am a vice rector today. <laughs> and then uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome the conference, uh, not uh, just because of the uh, centenary 100 years of the anti-fascism 1921, which I am very proud that it was in Istria in uh, Labin, but uh, even more before of today, a word, uh, one uh, insecure and uh, turbulent word, where we see that uh, uh, as one said, uh, only the change is uh, 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 in uh, progress. And I think that anti-fascism nowadays is a really uh, hot topic. We have seen there is a lot of problems, the economical problems, the political problems, the socialist problem, and above all, there are also the medical problems, which are uh, making one uh, conf 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 confuse the world. Uh, I think that, that, that such uh, things as this conference about the anti-fascism is a must be. Although our university lately is strongly oriented toward the STEM, you know, the science and technical, maybe because in the past it was not so, but we must not forget that the, the social sciences and the humanities are in the roots of every other science. Uh, I'm a, mathematician, but uh, in English is a philosophy, Dr. PhD. So I think uh, that uh, putting aside uh, the, the money, which is always a hot topic, the humanist as this one, this conference should uh, show the people what is really important in the life and uh, what is not. The anti-fascism nowadays is uh, very important. We can see from uh, every day from the newspaper and uh, from the television and from the news, what is going on in the in the world and as you said in your uh, topic some things didn't change a lot from uh, 1921 just the te technology have changed so the center for the socialism which we have of the university is uh, quite good working a few weeks ago we have a doctoral school from professor duda and I hope it will be in the future more conferences. What I would like is that it will not be any virtual conferences, but uh, the real conferences because the anti-fascism and it is root is the human is a humanities and hum humanities need a little touch of the people between them, not just uh, using the Zoom. So uh, thank you very much. All congratulations for the uh, conference. And I'm uh, really proud that you have a lot of doctoral students or postdocs which are part of the organizing committee, which maybe sometimes is not so, but one of our topics as the university is to educate the young uh, people and show them uh, what is the uh, right uh, way in uh, life. Thank you very much for inviting me. And I uh, am surely that these three days uh, will be fruitful and uh, hope the next time see you in uh, in uh, uh, real life not on a virtual zoom as it is now and uh, a lot uh, and <laughs> it is almost not as every time but uh, stay negative and be positive <laughs> thank you very much uh, uh, the vice rector for uh, for for nice words we also hope that this is the first and the last time that we're meeting in this alienated alienated form and that the in Two years time the next conference will be live as those previous four were 
Thank you again. And I would now like to give a word to a colleague of ours and a friend of ours, but uh, most of all, he's the head of the office of uh, Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, Southeast Europe, uh, Kruno Slostojakovic. So Kruno, here's the floor is yours. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, yes, um, also in the name of the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, warm uh, welcome to all attendees and all guests of the conference. I'm very glad and very uh, uh, happy that we as Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung had the opportunity to cooperate and support uh, CKP's now since the second Socialism on the Bench uh, conference. And um, CKP's surely uh, became one of the most important uh, places where young scholars, especially young scholars, are able to debate uh, to, uh, to exchange uh, their knowledge and their arguments um, when uh, and while dealing with uh, the history of socialism, the history of uh, Southeastern Europe. And um, we as a foundation um, are uh, very happy to have you as our partner. And uh, regarding the topic of the uh, um, conference we are attending now, uh, anti-fascism is surely one of the uh, cornerstones of the political left. Um, and when I'm talking in Yugoslavia, it's maybe one of the most successful uh, cornerstones. And uh, therefore it's uh, of um, enormous historical importance to uh, deal with the topic of anti-fascism of the people liberation movement. But in the same, uh, uh, the same time, it's important to uh, think about anti-fascism today. Uh, it's not only the title of uh, Professor Mochnik's uh, lecture, but uh, that's one of the uh, crucial political topics we are facing now uh, in the world and uh, in societies with growing xenophobia, uh, uh, growing discrimination of various uh, groups of societies. Uh, it is our duty to rethink uh, anti-fascism and to re-articulate uh, anti-fascist uh, uh, views and uh, uh, viewpoints. So therefore, this topic is one of the uh, most uh, important topics uh, right now. And I'm very happy to be here with you and to take part in the conference. And I'm looking forward uh, to the lectures and the debates. And uh, thank you once again for uh, organizing this uh, conference next time, hopefully in Pula, uh, but now on Zoom. Thank you. Thank you, Kruno. Yes, I think that what you said is quite important. And uh, looking at our program, I think that uh, there are these two streams that you have mentioned. One is historical, but also the other one is very, very contemporary. So I think that uh, the arguments that you have put up front is also reflected in our in our in our uh, program. This I think gives belief that uh, the conference will be very uh, successful. Uh, thank you, Kruno, again. And uh, now, last but definitely not least, uh, a colleague of ours, Anita Buchin, uh, will give you just few technical information. Um, and so, please. Listen carefully if you want to be in this Zoom and other Zoom rooms in the next three days. Anita, please. Uh, thank you, Andrea. Uh, hi. Uh, you probably saw my uh, my instructions in the last email, but I'm sure that after a year and a half, everyone is used to uh, Zoom. But uh, just in case, a uh, few sentences about uh, how we are going to work uh, these three days. Uh, let me just share a screen uh, for a second. Ta -ta -ta -ta. This one, maybe. Where is it? Ah, okay, so we are here. So this is our website, as you probably already know. And here you can find the book of abstracts and our schedule, what we are going to do and which room. Uh, as you probably know, since you're all here in the Red Room, here are the links uh, to register on the rooms if you didn't register in the others. 
And this here, you can also access the rooms. If you can't find the email, you will just have to fill all your information uh, once again. Uh, since we're on the website, here are the people, the list of the people who canceled their, um, uh, their panels in the last moment for different reasons. So they're not going to be the ones who are going to present. So just mark uh, in the schedule if you wanted to listen any any of them. I hope everyone else will show up. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. And uh, that's more or less that about the website and about the structure as it would be in the room is the same uh, here in Zoom rooms. So in each room, we have three levels of participants. The first ones are the ones who want to listen to the panel, who just want to learn something. And they are like you are today attendees. And there you have just two opportunities to either ask a question in chat. Here, please be careful to change the message to everyone and not just to host and panelists so everyone can see what you're asking. Or if you want to speak, you raise your hand and then the moderator or host will give you the permission to speak and ask the question. Uh, the second level of uh, people in the room are the panelists, people who are presenting their papers. They will be promoted after they enter the room as panelists and they will be able to turn on their cameras like now to speak freely and to share their screen. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation or any other presentation, you can share it through the button share screen, which is in the bottom. If you have a sound, which is really important, if you have a song or a video to play, please also press the button uh, share uh, sound as well. Uh, if you get stuck with everything, please don't panic. I, we are living in a virtual world and we can always take a, a minute to stop to check what's happening. I'm sure someone will have their camera frozen or something will happen. Just take a deep breath, ask your co-host or your host to help you. We can also, you know, arrange to postpone your presentation for a slot 15 minutes later to change the terms. So just take a the breath and everything will be fine and I'm sure everything will go as planned. And then the third, and this is for our the colleagues who uh, very um, nicely from them uh, volunteered to be moderators of our panel. So these are the people who would in normal room also moderate the discussion, take care of your time and open the floor for questions. They will be assigned as co-hosts, which means they have additional, additional, additional powers, let's call it like that. But the most important, someone from the organization team, eight of us, uh, at each moment, one of us will be in every room. So if there is a really, you know, something you have, you can either write us a private message in chat or just ask and we will jump in and try to help you. I hope there won't be a moment where the whole room fails. If it does, just wait for a few minutes and we will restart it again and try to enter the room again. But let's hope, I'm knocking on the wood here, that that will not happen. Uh, and in the end, like a few more practical things, uh, just to remind you, even though we uh, said it already a few times, you everyone has 15 minutes for their presentation. Please don't take too long because there are lots of people and uh, we don't really have more than three days to present everything. And then after each, after all presentations, we have 45 minutes of discussion in each panel. Uh, we have a mixed group. Some of people speak only English and their native language, and some people also speak Croatian, Serbian, and all uh, similar languages. Uh, we tried to make the schedule in a way that in each moment, people who just understand English can listen to something in one of the rooms. But uh, I uh, encourage uh, moderators to check in the beginning of the session what is the uh, what is the group who speaks which language and according to that you can also adjust adjust your lectures to a certain extent. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us as a host, or you can also write to me in my email that you already saw it uh, in Andrea's last messages anita.buchin@gmail.com and we will solve everything. So the main thing is don't panic and everything else we go uh, as a flow. And uh, Andrea, I'm done with that and we can switch to the other thing if you want to. Okay, Anita, thank you for your calming tones. Uh, it felt like in a spa, I have to say, although we're not in a spa. Uh, thank you, uh, Vice, uh, Vice Rector. Thank you, Kruno, uh, our head of the office, uh, Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung. And now we are 
basically starting with our program. Uh, so the next thing that we have is already is already mentioned. We have a, a book launch, uh, Continuiteti Innovatie, edited by, uh, by our colleagues, uh, Buchin and uh, Filipovic, Anita and uh, Tina. And uh, the other speakers will be Anna Kladnik and a uh, colleague of ours, Brani Mirjankovic. So Anita, uh, I think that from here now you have to you have to take, right? <laughs> 